Hello, hello, hello. So, I got a story for you. I'm super out of focus right now, but you know, I'm washing my hands. So hygiene is good if you're human. I need a therapist. So I decided, since I'm gonna film a story time and it's really dark in my room, why not film it in the most echoeyest place in my house? Because nobody's home right now, so I can't, and I have the freedom. So, the story today is um, on how I almost got uh, murdered, so that's fun. This happened around uh, a little over a week ago. Uh, my friend said, hey, it's gonna be my birthday. I'm like, dope, 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 let's go. She invited me to her little pool party, I was like, She invited me to her pool party and I said, yes, definitely, I'm a go. And I got the invitation a long time before that. And I put it somewhere and I didn't remember where I put it, so it was lost and oh well. I thought I knew where her house was because when I was walking my dog, she said, Hey, my brother's playing outside and you just passed my house. And there was a little kid playing outside of a house, a place of basketball. I was like, okay, well, that's her house. So it gets, um time for her birthday and I'm like, you know, I'll just walk to the party. That sounds like fun, right? Uh, like she lives like right around the corner. So I thought I would just kind of like walk over there and it'd be all fine. So I packed my bag and all that. It was all fun. My mom and sister were both like telling me, hey, we should, you should like get a ride from me. Like, I know it's like right around the corner, but hello. I know it's like right around the corner, but like I could like drive you there and it won't be that big of a not that big of a deal. I was like, no, 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 it's fine. I could just walk. It's going to be like a two minute walk anyways. Like she's right around the corner. And they're like, are you sure about that? And I was like, I'm pretty sure. Just let me live my life, please. So they said, okay. I said my goodbyes. I have my brown or gray shirt on. I have some swim trunks and some sandals and a backpack full of all my stuff because I was going to like leave my phone and all that, my towel in there and just kind of throw it off the side. I start walking down the street, you know, with all my, my gear and I get to the street where I think she's at and I go in front of the house that I assumed was hers and I kind of just waited and at this time Lizette, she, she was doing stuff, you know, like she was setting up for her party, you know, like a normal human being. So I tried texting her, I'm like, hey, I, I'm outside your house, you want to come out and like greet me and say hey and to my surprise she doesn't respond to me and at that time little me was like bro i don't know exactly where your house is and i'm standing on the street by myself alone so what was i supposed to do here i brought you a little bit closer so you're welcome this girl i'm gonna fight her when she opens this door and so i'm waiting there i have my sandals on i'm just waiting at the curb like te trying to text her and get a hold of her after like th th two three minutes of me just standing there waiting and texting her two guys in motorcycles decide to go ride their motorcycles down the street that i was on park it right in front of me and get off their motorcycles i was like hmm okay well these are these are lizette's like uncles or something and they're here to uh, wish her happy birthday or something. I didn't think too much about it. I was like, oh, you know, this is gonna be fun. Like, they'll, they'll open the door for me and I'll get inside, that'll be fun, you know? Well, I say they're wrong because they were wrong. And were they wrong? Are they wrong? I think they're wrong 100%. So they come over to me and they say, hey, um, are you lost? And I say, lost? Uh, no, I'm here for what that's a birthday party, like her pool party. They look at me and they say, Nah, you're at the wrong house, dude. And I was like, wrong house. No, I'm pretty sure I'm at the right house. Like, this is Lizette's house. This is the one she told me. Wrong. That is and so uh, they were like, no, this is the wrong house. And I was like, um, okay. And while we were having this conversation, they started getting off their motorcycle. They were walking toward me, like, pretty fast. Like, I was getting pretty scared. So I started walking up to the door to like knock on the door and be like hey Lizette these people are out here trying to murder me can you like open the door and like save me 
I don't be my hero. I'm walking up to the door and this one guy with a ponytail, kisses on his neck like tattoos and a white shirt and baggy pants, he's following me up the walkway to the door. I hear him behind me and I'm freaking out. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, come on, I don't want to die today. I just want to swim in a pool. It's hot. I live in California. It's like freaking 94 degrees outside right now and it's going to get hotter. Can you please just not murder me today? He followed me up to the door and he's like, you got the wrong house, dude. I was like, are you sure? And he was... like four feet in front of me about to like stab me I don't know like I was startled and so at this point I'm freaking out because he's standing right here looking at me he's like you got the wrong house dude I was like <laughs> I was like oh I'm on my phone and he starts walking back over to his motorcycle and I was like okay at least he's not like five feet in front of me about to kill me, you know? So I was kind of like happy. I was like, okay, I'm not gonna die. Like right now, this second. And so, ooh, that tastes bad. Ooh, that tastes bad. Okay, you know what? I'm so sorry, I'm wasting. Oh, oh that's bad. So he started walking back to his um, motorcycle with his other buddy and his other buddy calling somebody and I didn't know who was calling probably the gang to like shoot me up or something I don't know I was my mind was racing I did some quick thinking and I'm like okay I'm not going down the path that he followed me I'm gonna go around the path into the grass the lawn and like make my way around them and while I was doing that I was like okay I'm gonna call my mom acting like I'm calling Lizette saying where like asking where the street is and so I call my mom as I'm walking by. I'm like, hey, you said it was um, the house on this street, right? And my mom's like, you know you're calling mom, right? And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's so it's not it's not the street. My mom's like, what are you talking about? And so my mom's like over here like thinking I'm crazy or calling the wrong person. I don't know, probably both. I'm freaking out and I'm like, oh, yeah, wrong, like it's the wrong street. It's the, it's the one next street on the house. Okay. And I was making up all these excuses or these lies. I was like, so you you said it was the the other street, like the one next street. Oh. Okay. And so at this point, when I'm saying, oh, okay, I'm behind them on like pretty much the other side of the street at this point, and I'm far away from them, or I'm a street length away from them. And so one of the guys, the one who has the ponytails or whatever, he's like, hey, hey, boy, come back here. I was like, no, 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 it's 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 just the wrong street. Don't worry, I'm. The house is on the next street over. It's fine. And he's like, no, come here. I want to talk to you. And I'm like, no, it's fine. And so they started walking faster. They started walking faster in my direction. And I didn't know what to do. I was actually like freaking out. And I was like, bro, what are you doing? Don't worry. I'm filling up the water from my coffee machine. It, it, this is an intermission. Don't. The story was getting too intense. Don't worry. I'm, I'm coming back. They were telling me, hey, boy, come back here. And I was like, no, no, no. And so they started walking faster. And so they told me one more last time. They said, come here while they were walking super fast. I'm like, in the most savage way possible. I look back with my backpack and my phone. I'm like, nah, I'm good. And you know what I did next? I booked it. I ran. I ran so freaking fast down the street. Like, there was no way they were gonna catch up to me. I looked back as I started running and they started running after They started chasing after me. I am a trap, like, I'm Usain Bolt when I run and I feel attacked, like, I am running. There is no possible way those gangsters with their low pants are gonna run after me and try to kill me with, like, my long legs. I was not dying that day. So I'm bolting down the street, my chunklas are over here, like, slapping the floor. They can hear me all the way down the street. I look back, I'm like halfway to my house. I look back and they're not chasing me anymore. I'm like, bless up. I wasn't gonna die, I was like kinda happy. So I run into somebody else's lawn and I take off my sa my sandals because they were like falling off and like making a lot of noise. I continued running. I like bolted into my house. <laughs> I bolted straight past my dad that was sitting on the couch and went into the garage back here where my mom was sitting. And she's like, hello, hello. And that whole entire time from when I called my mom to at this point when she's saying hello, hello was a good um, 
minute and a half. That's how quick I freaking bolted. It was it was no joke. It took me like three minutes to walk there and one and a half minutes to run back home. It is no joke. I was not gonna die. So anyways, my mom's over here like, what happened? What happened? Like, tell me. Oh my gosh, Chico. I know. Me out of breath. I'm like, <laughs> there was two guys. They were chasing me, and so I told her the whole story, my dad walks in, I told them the whole story, it was actually kind of crazy and dramatic. Like, I tell them the whole story, and my mom and dad, we walk over to the front door, and they're like, get in the car, let's go. And I'm like, excuse me? And they say, get in the car, we're gonna go and talk to them. I'm like, no! Thank you, I'm not going in a car where they could possibly shoot all of us and go toward the problem when I could run away from the problem. You understand? I was terrified. I was not about to go back outside and die. Like, I'm not insane. So I'm standing at the door frame right here while my mom and dad are both outside telling me to get in the car. We're gonna go and see what was going on. And I'm like, no, 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 no. This isn't happening. I'm not gonna die. I'm so sorry, mom and dad, I'm being disobedient right now, but I'm not getting in a car with you two and going toward those gangsters. I'm so sorry. And so as they were like yelling at me to get in the car and stuff like that, there was this red car that was coming down the street, but it was a good decent sized car to fit a couple people. And they drive past our house like halfway and it goes, ah! and I said, everyone looks down the street. And these guy, this one guy, he says, there he is and points at me, he yells, through the car window, there he is as he screeches down the street. I freaked out. My dad, he walks over to them, he's like, Hey, what's going on? And he, they just start walking over to the car like it's like no big deal, like they're not about to die or anything. I was like, oh, see, you guys, I just lost both of my parents, so I'm gonna have to become Batman. So my parents get to, uh, they go outside and I'm like, Bro, my parents just stepped outside to where the murderers are, and they're gonna kill them. I was like, darn, like, what am I supposed to do? When that happens, I bolt to the back of the house. I was not... So I run to the back of the house. My sister's taking a shower in the master bedroom where my parents sleep and stuff like that. And my brother was playing Fortnite on my parents' TV, because it's a big TV, why don't we want to play it there? They're both in their room, and so I walk into the room, I was like, okay, um, I don't want my sister to be stuck in a shower while people run in here and try to kill us, because that's stupid. So I open the door a crack, closing my eyes, and I'm like, Jessica, please, listen to me! And she's over here like, get out of there! Oh my gosh! I was like, Jessica, please, just listen, there's a couple guys outside. And she's like, get out of here, please! Oh my gosh, why are you in the shower? Oh my gosh! I was like, oh my gosh, Jess, just, please, there's people outside. And I'm unplugging the Google Home that's playing music. I'm like, Jess, just please listen to me, there's people outside. She's like, uh, what are you talking about? I'm like, there's, there's like, there's like six people in a car, like, mom and dad are outside. Like, can you, like, please get out? I don't want you to be stuck in here when, like, people shoot up the place, okay? It's gonna get lit. And she's like, she puts on her towel and she walks outside and my brother's over here playing Fortnite. I'm like, Adam, turn off Fortnite. We need to listen about what's about to happen. If there's shooting, we're running out of the back of the house and we're hopping the fence and leaving, okay? We're going, we're gonna be gone. I, we weren't about to stay inside the house. You know how freaking scary that is? Like, I started calling 911 because I didn't know what to do because I was scared. So I was calling 911, I'm like, like waiting for them to answer. It rings like four times and they don't answer. Like, I could have died. So thanks 911, you leave. Freaking amazing. So all of a sudden, my dad calls from the living room. He's like, Son, get out here. I was like, I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not going, I'm not going out there. There's no way I am going out into the living room. I slowly make my way down the hallway to the living room and I'm like, I'm scared. And my dad, he sits, like, I sit down right there and he explains to me. So apparently, that wasn't Lizette's house. I'm just gonna say that right now, I'm dumb, and that wasn't Lizette's house. That was apparently the two guys' brother who lived there, and he was just checking up to see what was happening because I looked suspicious. 
apparently I look suspicious because I had my backpack and I was like wearing sandals and like those are running shoes or something like that. They thought I looked suspicious and I was like looking, scoping out the place about to like rob their house or something. They caused me uh, trauma um, because they thought I was sketchy and about to rob their house. I was actually shook, was about to tell us that I'm not going to your birthday party. I'm so sorry you didn't respond to me. I could have died. You wouldn't have known and you know, it would have been your fault. Sorry. So I end up like calming down a little. I end up texting, texting Lizette, getting the actual address and I drive over there with my mom. She's like, it's okay, go have fun at the party. You're gonna be fine. I'm like, <sighs> We get to the the house, and it was literally on the opposite side of the street. So here was the house I was at originally, and here's her house, all the way at the end of the the end of the street. So I was on the complete opposite side of where I needed to. And if I would have just like you know read the invitation and got the actual freaking address, I probably wouldn't have had this traumatic experience. So yay me for almost dying. I ended up going to the party and telling Lizette what happened and I ended up telling two other friends what happened and they thought it was funny and I was like this isn't freaking funny and every single time a motorcycle would go past by the house and you could hear like down the street I'd freak out and be like they're here to get me and kill me and everyone thought it was like so funny and I, I didn't find it funny so it's been a week now and yeah that was my uh, little experience um, it could have been avoided it really could have but um, would I have had made this video and had content? Probably not. So I'm glad I did it. So with all that said, the moral of the story is don't be stupid and actually know what you're doing before you like go out in public, especially in California. Because if you walk anywhere, you're gonna get jumped in California. So keep that in mind. So yeah, that's my story. I don't know what else to add. I made coffee and I'm happy. So yeah, that's my story. Um, I hope you freaking enjoyed my trauma experience. Don't forget to subscribe because I post every Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And if you're done watching all my videos, because I haven't posted that much, that many right now, go ahead and follow me down here at Snapchat and Twitter. It's the username is the same thing. Just go ahead and do that and click the bell and do all the things that other YouTubers say you need to do. I'm going to go and continue having more traumatic experiences and probably dying so bye